Hey everybody, welcome to a Click Stuff exclusive unboxing video. Um, I'm going to be talking about the uh, Starro 2018 convention exclusive. Starro and the uh, Starro Justice League. Pretty sweet. Uh, Notice there wasn't a lot of uh, unboxing videos or discussion videos on this one. Uh, this thing came out at the beginning of June. And... Um, not a lot of talk about it. One Brazilian Nationals um, a couple weeks ago. So pretty sweet. Figure we'll uh, get in here and talk about this thing, unbox it, take a look at it. Uh, I was able to get one thanks to my teammate uh, Lane Miller who runs our uh, Twitch uh, streaming. Uh, you'll find those uh, links and descriptions um, below in this video. Um, so let's dig in and take a look at this. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, and thanks to Lane for. Uh, sending it to me. Um, this thing will be officially available at the Worlds 2018 in um, that Paxton plug in Philly. Looking forward to that one uh, here in a few months. So let's dig in. Uh, box is a little beat up. That's not Whiskey's fault. That's uh, the shipper's fault. So it happens. Um, dive into what comes in the box. What the powers and abilities do here. So Nice box art, too. Just looks really sweet. So, we have got Starro and the Starro Justice League. Um, Starro's Minions Justice League. Um, Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. And this sweet Starro sculpt. I tell you what, let's, since the most juiciest part of this is the Starro, we'll save him for last. Let's go to the Minions first. Save up our uh, anticipation a little bit here. So, comes with all the character cards. Let's take a look at these sweet sculpts first. Some of the best sculpts that I have. Check to make sure I had everything in the package here. Um, man, just really admire these sculpts. Man, sweet stats. Got the See if we can get this thing to focus in on that. We got that sweet Starro fight on Batman's head there. We've got uh, Superman. Man, just the black wash on those sculpts is just spectacular. Pretty sweet. And then Green Lantern. These look like uh, Elseworld sculpts. But man, just the, the paint on them is just some of the best I've seen from with kids. Great job, guys. Wonder Woman here. Ooh, Wonder Woman's pretty beastly. Yeah, very, very nice sculpts. Let's take a look at what they do here. Um Man, Green Lantern Minion, Wonder Woman Star Wars Minion, Superman Star Wars Minion, Batman Star Wars Minion. Let's start with Batman. Uh, my Wheel of Star Wars Free, choose one to use to your next turn. Incapacitate or Smoke Cloud. Uh, he's got improved movement, uh, elevated and hindering, as do both most Batmans. Uh, pretty um, bland dial, other than that, it has a five range, double bolt. Always good to pair that with one to incapacitate. Uh, precision Strike, uh, through most of his dial, some toughness, uh, combat reflexes, 100-point uh, dial, 75-point dial, 50-point dial. Take a look at that sweet dial and stats. Pretty legitimate, I think. Uh, no team abilities. He's not a Batman ally when he's under the control of Starro. Um, but I think most of these dials will be pretty much the same. Um... Superman has my will is Starro Superman free. Choose one to last to your next turn. Flurry or improved movement blocking. Um, that is pretty sweet. Uh, be a pretty uh, awesome uh, Rock Age call in off the Superman ID. Since it does have real name Kal El and the old IDs work off of uh, work off of uh, real names. Um, but he's got the same uh, same kind of split dial, 125, 175. Just some bland stats there, bland powers. Um, pretty neat. 
pretty neat dial. Let's go on to Wonder Woman, complete out the uh, DC Trinity here. Um, let's see, Wonder Woman can use Blades Claws Fangs or Plasticity with her free action. And she has 125, 175 uh, with some impervious. Uh, Superman has some Invincible, which makes sense. Um, and then Wonder Woman has the rollout with impervious. Pretty sweet dial. Um, where most of these things come into play, I'm going to believe, is, is when you pair them with Starro. Um, let's finish it off with um, Green Lantern. Uh, my will is Starro's Green Lantern. Uh, choose one to your next turn. Energy Explosion or Telekinesis, and that's Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Um, 100, 75, and 50. Not bad stats. 11, 10s, and 10s on the starting line. A nice little 100-point call-in. In Rock Age, that is. Um, and definitely, they could be playable uh, for a fun game or with the Starro. Uh, but let's dig into the colossal matter at hand. Uh, and that is this Starro. Uh, and how he interacts with his minions. And how he interacts with other game elements and talk a little strategy, Star Wars strategy while we're at it. Um, posted a picture in the Clickstaff Facebook group yesterday of this guy. Um, I propped him out to make sure that he was looking good and in good shape. But uh, man, just it's just hard to describe how good this sculpt looks and the detail they put into this sculpt. Definitely best colossal sculpt of 2018 in my opinion. Uh, just a whole 360 degree view there for you guys. Um, man, just gorgeous. Got the steel beams coming up. Uh, definitely going to have um, to take a look and read this comic. Because um, on top of that, man, he just looks just looks like he's ripped. Like, Starro did not skip leg day, for sure. Um, so Starro has... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six different dial options. One, two, three, four, five. No, five different dial options. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's six. It's six. Um, because I guess he's got two 100 point options here. No, he's got a 300, a 300, a 200, a 125. There's three, a 120. Okay, so it is five. All right. Um, I'm just taking a look at this guy. Lots of cool stuff here. Uh, let's talk about how he interacts with the Star Wars minions. He has a trait. Uh, my friendly characters with Star Wars minion in their name can use willpower at the beginning of your turn. If Star Wars took damage into your last turn, choose a friendly character with Star Wars minion in their name. This character has free. Make an attack. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Um, you know, just had a little idea there. I didn't think about that. And again, I play some Rock Age stuff on the Pat's uh, Majestic Circuit. Um, so definitely uh, could use um, use these guys as a call-in. And um, let's see, what do we get? Superman uses Flurry. So if old um, Starro took a damage and he called him out, let's say the 100-point uh, line here, yeah, where he could call him out in a 300-point game. Over the 125. Oh, he's 125 also. Let's just say you're calling him out at 125. Uh, he's 11 for 4. If Starro has taken damage, that's a free attack. 11 for 4. Um, pick Flurry. That's 8, 12 damage off this guy off of an ID when paired with the Starro's minion. So, a little bit of random strategy there. Uh, a little Rock Age strategy. A um, little uh, tasty tidbit there. Um, Starro also has the standard Colossal Indifference trait. If Starro began the game on the 20-point line, he can't attack smaller characters except via Colossal Retaliation. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, Starro has a fairly straightforward dial. Um, so he has two different kinds of dials. He has a standard sort of Colossal dial where... You know, it's got 300, 200, 125, and he just runs through it like your traditional Colossal character. He also has this 100-point starting line and a Colossal uh, Retaliation line. 
Um, so let's talk about the standard sort of plane as a 300 point beat stick line. Um, starts out with uh, both dials have 10 range, triple bolts, that's sweet. Um, the only special power on this set of dials, and I'll show you the back of the car here in a second, uh, make up to five close attacks. Characters may not be targeted more than twice during this turn. Um, after resolutions, choose each character that was hit during this action. Place Starro, ad place that character adjacent to Starro, or heal Starro one click. So wow, Starro could heal five clicks, or place somebody adjacent to him from three squares out. That's pretty scary. Um, this is honest reactions. I've just read this particular part of the dial. I've been practicing his 100 point line, which is where I want to spend a little bit more time on the strategy portion of this. Um, so let's take a look at that particular dial here. Let's get this zoomed in here. So that's going to be also quintessent, so no outwit shenanigans going on. The 300 point dial starts at the top of the screen with the 9 phasing goes all the way down to the 17 regen. He keeps that special power throughout, special damage power with the five attacks close to his dial. Uh, so this guy at 300 points is doing 20 damage, eight damage at a time. Uh, that's without, um, that's without any perplexes in play or any power or something like that. Um, now the one downside is his 200 point line does have sidestep, but he does not have any other form of move and attack uh, throughout his dial um, beyond that. Um, but yeah, I, I dig this as a scenario piece. Um, could be a lot of fun, a lot of damage. Uh, 400 point, 500 point game, get him some three perplexes or empowers. On that top dial, that's uh, 21 damage. Um, you know, seven, five. My math is off. Um, four, 20, and three, 35 damage. Uh, that's pretty un um, unimaginable, I think. Um, and that'd be 14 damage to, at a time because you only be targeted twice. Could get pretty out of hand. Um, but let's talk about, uh, I think, where uh, Pedro won uh, Brazilian Nationals with this guy. Uh, let's talk about this 100-point line with the stop click, and then let's talk about his cross retaliation. So let's look at the dial. It's got two special powers on there. Um, get phased in on that. Um, pretty decent stats, right? 10 range still. Uh, 11 attack. Never drops below a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven clicks, and then a stop click, so eight total clicks. Uh, invincible, it can't be outwitted because of quintessence. Um, so, still has its trait with the uh, Star Wars minions. The special movement power is sidestep. Again, favorite and power in the game. Star Wars always moves around. Um, sidestep, mind control. When Star Wars uses mind control, you may KO a Starro fight bystander adjacent to an opposing character. If you do, Starro may target that opposing character regardless of range and line of fire. Let's talk about those Starro fights here in a second. Targets of Starro's mind control minus, um, minus defense, modified defense, negative one for each Starro fight bystander adjacent to them. Let's talk about the special attack power. Whenever Starro hits, generate a star fight bystander adjacent to each hit character. Power action. Generate three star fight bystanders. At the beginning of your turn, if there are six star fight bystanders on the map, heal star one click. Maximum six star fight bystanders on the map. You may generate up to that number. Wow. Let's see what these star fight uh, bystanders do. Um, so we're generating them on hits. That counts for mind control hits, that counts for punching hits, um, ranged attack hits, all sorts of things. Um, so let's look at the Star Fight bystanders. They are tiny. They have a four move with sidestep. Star Star Fight's actions do not count towards your action total. They are tiny. They can be carried by other bystanders like uh, Walking Wood 
like um, a lockjaw, um, just any sort of standard character can carry these guys and uh, make make haste with them. So let's look at that. I did get some uh, custom Star Fight bystanders in the mail. I uh, bought them off of eBay. Um, I love my little poker chip bystanders. I wish Wiz Kid did a little bit better job of providing uh, paper versions of these bystanders um, as needed in the packs. Um, but yeah, look forward to getting these guys out on the map, uh, generating up to six of them. So let's talk a little bit about some Star Wars strategy, right? Um, I think that surrounds his keyword, secret society, a supervillain, cosmic ruler. Uh, rulers, kind of a low-key, really competitive keyword. Um, Groot, um, Al Jordans, lots of um, lots of great rulers out there. But I think the real powerhouse here is with uh, is with the cosmic theme team. I want to step away for just one second and grab some of this cosmic stuff real quick. Hand it over here to the side. Got limited table space to do some of this stuff. But let's talk about some great cosmic pieces. You've got your Groot. You've got Mr. Star Fox. Here's some walking woods for this Groot. We've made some cool custom walking woods. So these walking woods that get generated can totally carry these Star fights. A little sidestep in action. Sidestep carry. Sidestep it out. Star fights are getting in your face. You can't hide behind walls then for that mind control. You'll punch your own buddies. Um, and then with Pedro's team, he used Star Fox. Star Fox plus two in that attack. Those 11s become 13s. Those 10s become 12s. If you don't have to worry about boxing rings, that sort of thing, or high defenses, that 10 range becomes 12 on a wide open map. So really easy to get this guy on a powerful theme team. Um, and really, just make your uh, opponent's team attack each other. Um, at 100 points, I really don't see anything spectacular that he can call in additionally in modern age with um, ID cards. But, um, you know, it's probably someone like a Star Fox is going to be handling the ID card call-in abilities. Star Fox is going to use, or Star is going to use that mind control to bring everybody towards the um, the ID card character. Um, and really excited to play this guy. I've been practicing with him. Glad to get been practicing with him on Rock Online. Um, glad to get this guy in. Start practice with him in person. Uh, looking forward to playing him in a few events. Um, should be pretty sweet. But All right, hey, and uh, go ahead and. Uh, Finalize out the video today. Let's talk about uh, Starro's Colossal Retaliation Click. That is on his 20-point line. Uh, so you still get to play this cool big old sculpt on the 20-point line. Uh, Colossal Indifference Click. So he's got a, a 3 movement, uh, 11 attack, 17 uh, stop click. Uh, and on that stop click, he says stop free. Uh, if no other Colossal Retaliation power has been activated this turn, Choose a character that attacks Starro or damaged a friendly character since your last turn. Play Starro in such a way that it can make uh, an attack chosen, targeting the chosen character, then it can use mind control at no cost, but must target that character and may choose other targets as normal. So if he began on the 20 point line, um, he can only um, target Colossals or those who attacked him. Um, so pretty sweet, but. Uh, he can do it with his 10 range. So the big deal with this guy, um, you know, if he's up and close and into the battle and then he's been damaged, um, he can voop away, use his 10 range, voop right off the map there, <laughs> voop away 10 squares, use his mind control as a ranged action. Um, and then um, if somebody damaged him runs away, he can voop over, uh, mind control the person that attacked him, or damage to friendly character, then go ahead and uh, mind control two other colossal retaliators or something like that of your opponents. Have them attack around, attack each other maybe, or not attack each other, but uh, attack another colossal retaliator. Um, 
pretty legitimate uh, strategy, I think, um, on his 20-point line. Would I play him by itself at 20? Probably not. I think the 100 then getting knocked to the 20-point uh, Colossal Retaliator line is the big deal. But uh, it's pretty sweet. Um, a little, little susceptible to shredder damage, but what isn't at 20 points. Um, but his 100-point line does have that um, Invincible, so that's pretty swell uh, to stop that shredder damage. But hey, thanks everybody for watching the uh, unboxing video today, and uh, we'll talk to you all next time.